Welcome back to 1996 Kazuki Takahashi. Uh, he presents this game. Yeah, I'm like, what am I? I'm six, no, I'm five locator cards in with uh, probably a really bad deck. Let's find out. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, Tomasaurus, 900s. Sorry guys, we got a rogue cat going crazy. More than infend, like, just shit cards. Like, here's a 1300 that requires a tribute. That should really tell you all you need to know about this deck. But, uh... Hello and welcome to, like, the worst intro ever. <laughs> what? Uh... Not the worst I've ever heard you do. Nice. Thank you. That is actually nice. Five locator cards in. Uh, and I gotta find a place to go, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have a deck of children's trading cards, right? And I'm in a city full of adults who are literally dying to play a children's trading card game with me. I have to find those people. <laughs> Like, I already did, uh, Weevil. The six guys make a tsunami. Uh, shit. There's, like, some oddly specific person I have to talk to, and I think it's here in the park. I think it's this girl, honestly. Let me see. Uh, oh. No, I guess we're just dueling. Okay. Well, there's some person I talk to, and they're like, oh, a Mega Tsunami has been spotted at the whatever, and then it just shows up on the map. Because, you know, you're supposed to be playing, like, every single person to see if you can get a locator card from every single person. Uh, but you don't get a locator card from every single person. You just get them from the main characters. Well, actually, not main characters, but the people who are actually from the fucking show. Like... Uh, dude with a baseball cap and a, uh, 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 Marty McFly vest. Surprisingly, not a character in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. It's funny, it's just like, the more I play this game, the more I'm like, man, I really wish I could just summon Swap Frog or, like, here, here's Starboy. You know what I think of when I see Starboy? I think of Miss Starboy. The Link 2 monster that gives every water attribute monster 500 attack. <laughs> like, why why can't you do that, Starboy? Why can't I just summon you and then you have also 500 attack? Look at this. I have 550. His objectively more attack than I do. But he's fire, so I don't care. I just run him over. This cat's trying to make a run for it up there. <gasps> There she goes. <laughs> She's trying. You might have to lock her in the room. But like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, kitty. I don't. I love you. I don't want you in my lap. Just stop. Like, you're, you're uncomfortable and furry and hot sometimes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's just gonna keep trying. Wow, does this guy have a lot of fire monsters? Because that's really easy. I wonder if I... Oh, sure. She is, you know, not about to let you stop her from getting up there, even though it's what you're going to keep doing. Uh, let's get rid of that. Come here, kitty. Come to me. I will not throw you off if you come to me. I will throw you off if you go to her. Lay down. Good girl. <coughs> Alright. Cool, cool. Aww. There goes the thing I just tributed for. That's sad. Oh, yeah. Oh, now you know it's a bad deck. I go minus one just to go 200 life points up. That's bad. So it's light. Eh, just run over with this, I guess. Like, 
this? I mean, this. Yeah. Nakalian. I don't know, man. I really need to look into fusion. First, first of all, and I'm sure I've touched on this in a previous episode, fusion is literally just the same as, like, here's two monsters, I'm gonna stick them together. Uh, you know what, honestly? This is a common one you can fuse with. The Yamatano Dragon Scroll, so... What is a dragon? Like, is there a spider dragon? Is there a dinosaur dragon? Let's try it. No, there is not. But anyways, you have two mu two mutants. What the fuck? You have two monsters you can fuse together. There you go. Which I guess I was trying to say fusion and monster at the same time. I don't fucking know. But, okay. And you just put them on top of each other and they fuse. But I just can't, uh, at this exact moment in time, remember exactly who fuses with you. Oh man, and then see it's like a it's like a oh hey hey it's sad that that requires a tribute but I like your attack um <laughs> it, it, it's kind of sad right like once you build a good enough deck these these guys are already kind of easy the the throwaway grindy people the 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 people you gotta uh you know. Because you're a kid, right? You're a fucking kid playing this game, and you're like, I want to put better cards in my deck. Oh, so how do you do that? You gotta go duel a crap ton of people and get your deck capacity up so you can put better, stronger cards and more of them into your deck. And also, you raise your duelist level. It takes forever, right? Like, you're gonna sit there and just, just duel stupid people forever. It's, it's dumb. But you're a kid, so who cares? You know, right? You're just gonna do it because you love the card game, and who cares? And then you do it, and then you have really good deck, and you know what? You know who you can beat with that really good deck already. Like literally everyone who you can already beat, literally everyone. <laughs> like no one is strong enough uh, uh, once you get arguably just good enough cards. Besides, like you know, maybe maybe strings is kind of hard. Right? Because that's kind of in game ish. Because once you get him past him, is like, oh, there's a god card, and. I don't know. There's. A, there, there are difficult people, right? But. They, the way they space all these duelists out, and, and the way they built their game so that it's like. You know. Oh, actually make something like this good. And they, they, they fucked it up. This is not even supposed to be a normal monster. It's just all sorts of dumb. There's a lot of dumb that goes on with this game. And even though it is dumb, it is arguably fun. But I just kind of wish, you know, that they had spread it out better, so to speak. Right? Like, give me the option to... to there's a computer you can fight. That's okay, I guess. And after a certain point, you can actually set a higher difficulty level. But that's like one opponent. Or you can go fight Merrick and that's two. Because basically once you get to the end, it's like fighting Bowser in Super Mario World. You beat it and it just stays on the, the end screen forever. So you just go back to that point before you fight him. So there you go. You get two strong people in the game. I want more than two. That's all I'm saying. And the other strong people that are arguably hard to beat at times that, you know, you fight them once. And then after that point, you get to that point where you have a good deck and you ha can have an access to all the people you can battle. Again, the good people you've already battled once. Dude, you can't battle him again. You can't battle Joey. He's like dead in the hospital bed or something. Ugh. Just want, I just want more people. I want more people, man. Also, it would be really great to know, uh, where do I go? Because I don't know. And I think this might be, like, the little first episode that, uh, edited and shot cut. I'm not sure, because really, let's be honest, 
Oh, I did? I dueled one guy. Yes, I am. Are you doing good? Uh...